Close the damage, the financial damage. When COVID-19 becomes more clear, one of the hardest hit segments is the automotive industry. Well, let's talk about that. We've got our auto expert, Nick Miles, uh, on the line with us to talk uh, about this. Uh, Nick, good morning from Portland, Oregon there. Tell me, um, I guess, how bad are our car sales? I understand you have specific numbers for what cars here in Indianapolis. Yeah, absolutely. J.D. Power and Associates have done a pretty good deal of breaking down each market, and we took a good look at Indy to see how the cars are selling, what is selling. The national averages are down about 48% or so in car sales, and uh, Indianapolis faring pretty well. They're actually only down to 32.5% in March and 26% in April. Overall, just uh, over 30% down, which is pretty good. So sales are still happening you want to know which vehicles are selling really well in indianapolis of course it's along the national trend of actually having trucks and suvs selling well number one seller is the chevy equinox followed by the silverado 1500 so people who are buying are buying trucks and suvs big vehicles uh for uh owners who know that gas prices are you know, like at, a, at an all-time low in our generation so that sort of makes sense here um what uh, new vehicle styles are, are really popular for those who are still driving, uh, you know, sedans. Um, so the only sedan that made the blip in Indianapolis was the uh, Honda Civic, which is interesting mm. enough. It's a small, compact car that tends to be for, for people who are getting into the car industry the, or getting their first car. One of the things that I noticed, though, which really quite incredible, was uh, there's only one car in the whole of the United States that's actually increased in sales, and that is the Hyundai Tucson. And that may be because Hyundai have been offering such great deals, including deferring payments and also that 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, plus uh, three years of free service. So out of every single vehicle in the United States, only one has seen increased sales in the last two months. Well, we're, while we're talking about warranties and things like that, if your car has been sitting in the driveway uh, for the last six weeks, couple of months, what's, what's happening to insurance rates and to the warranties? Well, so Kia have actually extended their warranties. If your warranty was going to ex, uh, expire in the next few weeks, they've extended it uh, right the way into June, which is kind of like June 30th. So if you have warranty work that needs to be done or you need to get service done, they're making sure that you can get into the dealerships and do that. Other car companies looking at that. VW is considering extending their warranties because your car's been sitting in the driveway. But as far as insurance is concerned, yesterday I had a conversation with Mercury Insurance. They're actually Actually refunding 15% of uh, the premiums that are paid to people to customers during uh, May, April and May and that equates to about 65 million dollars and so they're making sure that if you've paid for insurance and you haven't been driving they're giving you rebates if you mm -hmm. haven't got a rebate from your insurance company pick up the phone or go to the website just check it out because rebates may be coming your way for some of those insurance premiums that you've paid yeah a rebate would be nice right now if we haven't got nick miles always great to chat with you thanks for your uh your thoughts and we'll see you next time thanks ray okay